up YouTube? This is Manuel and welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today we have another unboxing. As you can see, the Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 in Vanta colorway. So stick around. If you happen to be watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, let me give you a few reasons why you should consider subscribing now. Number one, we feature a lot of dope sneakers. Number two, we go to a lot of sneaker shops and outlets. And number three, we have a lot of giveaways such as these. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe now! We've been two weeks late for this unboxing but since it's here, why don't we unbox it now? This is the Adidas CC Boost 350 V2 in the Vanta colorway. This Vanta colorway is the third version of the 700 V2s. The first version was the Statics and the second one was the Geodes. And last June 6, they released this pair together with the 350 V2 Black and the Black Reflective. For all of you who doesn't know, Vanta means black or the darkest shade of black and that's what Yeezy is trying to say on these sneakers. Before we look closer on these sneakers and decide whether this is worth it or not, let me show you how it look on feet. On feet for me it's it's normal I mean it's it's nothing great nothing's too special about these sneakers I think um, it looks good although I'm not really a fan if you, you you've been watching our videos I'm not really a fan of an all black sneakers but I just wanted to get this pair to show to you guys and review it so I could help you decide whether to get this pair or not so now let's try to look closer on these sneakers Basically, the upper is made made out of uh, suede material and uh, this woven-like, I'm not really sure what is this, textile or nylon uh, woven-like material. That's basically the construction of the upper and hints of 3M and this felt-like material. So let's uh, go in details. Basically, the toe box here is in suede, suede then on top of that you have this uh, 3M material then you have the woven uh, textile or uh, nylon uh, which is more of the base of the sneakers and then on top of that you have this uh, lace holder which is in 3M same as the other uh, 700s on your lateral side basically it's more of a suede material there's a suede panel over here and on the lace locks over here on the middle, you have the base of the sneakers, which is this woven uh, material. And then the three stripes. Normally, the three stripes are the ones that are reflective. However, well, actually, all four stripes are 
um, trim reflective but for this pair they only have the last stripe which is closer to the lace holders uh, which is in 3M moving on to the back you have this suede panel over here again with the four dots which is actually 3M reflective inside and then on the bottom of that you have this 3M reflective material similar to the other 700 V2s now on the back of the heel you have this continuous suede material with the three dots on top and then on the bottom of that we have this reverse triangle which is also in 3M material on the other side of the sneakers you have this uh, the continuation of this uh, suede material and then on the bottom we have this 3M and the dots with the 3M then the panel of the suede continues on the bottom of the upper and then in the middle of the upper you have this uh, stripes which is in felt and then on top of that you have this uh, 3M reflective material the lace holders are all in uh, suede material and the laces are actually the same as the other 700 V2s. Also same as the other 700 V2s is the tongue, which is actually connected on the upper, so you cannot really move them. And then inside, you have this uh, Ortholite insole, which gives it a uh, more cushion. And apart from that, you have the inside being heavily padded, which gives you a uh, pillow-like feel when you wear it, wear it. Now on the midsole, you have your usual 700 midsole, which is actually the same for the V1s and the V2s. Uh, the significant part on this uh, midsole is the oval shape over here, cutouts. The two oval shape cutouts over here and on this side, which is actually in 3M reflective. Moving the bottom of the sneakers, you have this typical 700 outsole and with the cutouts where you can see the full leg boost in the bottom. So now, is it worth 300 US dollars or 16,000 pesos? Honestly, for me, not really that worth it. However, if you are a Yeezy collector and a Yeezy fan and you want to have all these Yeezys, then definitely you should get this pair because I mean it's it's one of the nicest uh, Yeezys that they release however for me personally it's not that special if you have money but uh, you're thinking of buying a Yeezy this is not the pair you should spend your money wait because there's a lot more uh, Yeezys that are coming we're only halfway through the year and uh, as Kanye have mentioned there is about at least 30 Yeezys that will be releasing soon and yeah like recently they just released the, Ant the Antlia and the Scent and uh, next weekend they are releasing the 700 V1 Utility Black which is actually I prefer better than this one in fact I'm trying to, to get that pair as well I also want to share with you that I tried to get the Tefras. I was actually lucky enough to get it online through the Adidas uh, website. However, I received an email that uh, my order was just cancelled. So I'm not sure if it's a good news or a bad news because a lot of people are hating on those sneakers. In fact, uh, the resale value of uh, the Tefras are very, very low now. I think it's one of the lowest uh, resale for 700s. Um, so, but I'm still thinking of getting them because I'm really intrigued uh, with the colorway. Um, like I said, a lot of people don't like them. However, I think it's it's kind of nice. It's similar to the geodes, uh, but it's a bit different because it's uh, the lighter shade on the top. So let's see if I could get that uh, Tefras and show it to you guys as well. So guys, I hope I was able to help you decide whether to get this pair or not. I think it's a very easy decision. However, yeah, I just wanted to share with you uh, and give you a closer look of these sneakers. like this video and if you do please press the thumbs up button down below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please press the subscribe button don't forget to like us on facebook follow us on instagram and twitter until next time